The press conference wrapped up about half an hour ago in a packed room in a building just behind the main hospital entrance here. And it was uh, attended by journalists from all over the world. And the speakers included several of those who've been closely monitoring Michael Schumacher's condition over the past couple of days. And those included the chief anaesthetist, Jean-Francois Payen. We have effectively, at the end of the afternoon, received a transitional improvement in the pressure on the brain for Michael Schumacher, which has mean, which meant that we could take a new scan without putting him to risk. This scan showed us signs that he is relatively stable. So there is no worsening of the initial lesions. Um, Maddie, in that press conference, they were sounding slightly more optimistic. Is that the feeling there? Yes, there's certainly been an improvement to his condition, but we should stress that doctors say that they cannot say that he is out of danger yet. What's happened since uh, we last heard from the hospital staff uh, around 24 hours ago is that there's been an operation uh, to try and relieve some of the pressure on his brain to remove some of the blood clots there. Uh, but doctors stress that there was still swelling, there's still bruising, and they're still going to keep him uh, in a medically induced coma to keep a very close eye on him. But this certainly will be welcome news for uh, his family who remain by his bedside throughout the night and for millions of fans around the world. But the key point coming from doctors is that this is a minute-by-minute -minute case that, that could still change. The situation is better controlled than yesterday. We can't say he's out of danger, but we now have a bit more... As I said yesterday, we gained a bit more time in the evolution of his... And the, years to, and the hours to come are still crucial. And doctors also stressing that they don't want to speculate really beyond the coming hours, let alone the coming days. Uh, although his situation uh, has improved, they don't want to talk about what might happen when he wakes up, wakes up because they simply don't know. One other point that they raised, they've been keen to reassure other patients at this busy hospital in the heart of the French Alps, uh, incredibly busy at this time of year where other people are skiing. They're saying just because Michael Schumacher is a celebrity, he's not getting special treatment. And others who remain anonymous, being treated for other skiing injuries, will get that help. And we actually spoke to a British tourist here who was on holiday with her husband. They've been skiing for the first time, and he suffered a brain hemorrhage on Friday and a spinal injury. He will make a full recovery. Uh, but this person from Cambridgeshire in England uh, told us that the care that he had received had been exceptional, and she said that she felt there was no better place for Michael Schumacher to be treated.